Corals are organisms that form a part of the phylum Cnidarians. The Cnidarians also include sea anemones and jellyfish. Of the 11,000 living species and 5,000 fossil species of Cnidarians, there are four distinct classes. Hydrozoans, Scyphozoans, Anthozoans, and Cubozoans, all of which are radially symmetrical. There are two body forms which often occur within the life cycle of a single cnidarian, a polyp and medusa. Another common synapomorphy of the cnidarians is the cnidocytes. Also called stinging cells, cnidocytes are used as a defense mechanism. Hydrozoans are often polymorphic, forming benthic colonies and medusae. This is a siphonophore. Members of the order Siphonophora are free-floating colonial hydrozoans that display an even greater variety of polymorphs. These include gas-filled floats called pneumatophores, pulsating locomotory structures called nectophores, and flattened protective individuals called bracts or phylozoids. The Portuguese manophore is a siphonophore. We found hundreds of them on the Palolo beach in Hawaii. It's an amazing animal, made up of a colony of organisms working together. It gets its name from the uppermost polyp, a gas-filled bladder, or pneumatophore, which sits above the water and somewhat resembles an old warship at full sail. The tentacles are the Man of War's second organism. These long, thin tendrils can extend 165 feet in length below the surface. They are covered in venom-filled pneumatocysts used to paralyze and kill fish and other small organisms. Many of the world's benthic ecosystems are dominated by anthozoans, which include corals and anemones. The anthozoans are exclusively polypoid, which means that they do not have a medusa stage. Anthozoans are long-lived. Some sea anemones are centuries old. Even after they die, corals contribute greatly to the reef construction by the cementing action of the skeletal debris. Skeletons may be encrusting, massive, or tree-like. The tree-like skeleton is delicate and typically found in quiet waters at the depth or in lagoons. An anthozoan coral polyp, which resembles a sea anemone, can retract into a calcareous cup it secretes around itself. In some species of reef-forming corals, polyps are so tightly packed that their individual units share common walls. This is an octocoral native to Friday Harbor, Washington. This is a native coral of Hawaii. This is a hermit crab with anemones growing on top of its shell. And this is a brooding anemone on a blade of seagrass. The diversity of anthozoans is incredible. In fact, it is found that the extracts of many cnidarians, most of which are anthozoans, have heart stimulant, anti-tumor, and anti-inflammatory properties. The cubozoans include the amazing box jellies with complex eyes and potent toxins. Their major distinguishing feature is that each polyp transforms entirely into a medusa. Before this metamorphosis occurs, however, each cubozoan polyp may divide asexually to produce numerous genetically identical polyps, and each of these subsequent polyps can then produce a medusa. This is a hydrozoan medusa which resembles a cubozoan. However, there is a muscular velum at the base of the bell. The scyphozoans are considered true jellyfish. In most scyphozoans, a scyphistoma produces immature medusae by asexual fission at its oral end. This process, called strobilation, results in eight-armed, free-swimming ephrae. Ocean acidification affects marine biodiversity and alters the structure and function of marine populations, communities, and ecosystems. Benthic and pelagic cnidarians exhibit complex responses to climactic conditions. For example, the structure and phenology of the Mediterranean cnidarian community displays marked changes in species composition and reproductive timing. Considering the scyphozoan group, Pelagia noctiluca, which is among the most abundant jellyfish in the Mediterranean Sea, there have been increasingly frequent massive outbreaks associated to warmer waters.
Ocean acidification is the decline in seawater pH that results from the absorption of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Decreased pH has negative effects on survivability, growth, and development in many marine calcifiers, potentially resulting in reduced coral species richness. This reduction in richness could open new niche space, allowing the spread of invasive species such as the upside-down jellyfish. Like corals, this jellyfish forms symbiotic relationships with zooanthellae, as our oceans experience a disproportionately disturbing effect of global climate change, the Nidarians have responded in ways that have led to large-scale ecological, economic, and social impacts.